Good afternoon, Study Trade Treats fans. Bryce Tui back at it with your Monday edition of Study Trade Treats. And while I don't have any caffeine that I am drinking right now, I have lots of caffeine ready to go for the week. I am stocked up on these bang energies. Today, there is so, so much going on. We've got Tesla gapping down, plug gapping down, Bitcoin tanking. Right now, currently at around $33,000 per coin, which means a lot of the Bitcoin plays are gapping down. There's gonna be crazy, I'm sure, there's going to be crazy OTC first red days. There's going to be crazy panic dip buys. I, I, it's almost overwhelming. There's almost too much. And uh, on a day like today, you know what I mean? You, you really need to focus in on, you know, what do you want to play? Do you want to play the Bitcoin plays? Do you want to play these energy plays, the EV plays? You know, it's, there's so much to focus on. Don't try to play it all. Pick one and go with it. Today I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin just because I think that's where the real, real big volatility is going to be at, especially in the OTC market where... You know, pre-market and after hours trading aren't really a thing. Uh, there's a little bit of it and, you know, things can still gap up and down, but not in the same way plays like Mara and Riot, you know, these listed uh, listed Bitcoin plays can move. I'm not going to sit here and try to predict Bitcoin, what it's going to do next. I have no idea. You know, it hit a high of 41,000, almost 42,000 per coin uh, a few days ago. And now again, it's $10,000 lower per coin. But it wasn't just like one hard drop, you know what I mean? It was it was a grind down the entire weekend. I mean, there were some hard cracks and a lot of lower highs. The poll that went from you know, from like 35,000 to 29,000 per coin, right? That was one just snap down and then it recovered. This is like a grind down. I don't know what's going to happen here. You know, I would have liked to imagine that it's going to recover. I think there's a lot of hype right now. It's over a fresh breakout. And I think over anything over that $20,000 per coin is still probably bullish. But does that mean it's going to happen right away? And I think that's one of the biggest questions we need to be asking ourselves is, yeah, does it go to fifty, dollars $100,000 per coin? Wouldn't surprise me. But that doesn't mean it needs to happen tomorrow or next week. A lot of these price targets are, you know, for 100000 plus per Bitcoin aren't for the end of this year. I think the hype, you know, if you look at the weekly chart on Bitcoin, it looks very similar to uh, 2017 when it ran to 20,000 and had a harsh pullback. When something's straight up this parabolic, it needs to come down and consolidate, which means it's going to provide a lot, a lot, a lot of opportunity in the penny stock land. And this drop creates the volatility that we need. And then if it keeps ripping again, We've got plays on our hands for what looks to be months. I'm not going to sit here and try to predict what Bitcoin's going to do. I do think, though, that over time it probably goes back up. Um, but, you know, we're $10,000 per coin off highs. So, you know, keep that in consideration. I don't know if this is really a great dip buy yet for a long-term Bitcoin play. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see this back in the $20,000 per coin, honestly. So, I'm, and, you know, personally, as a day trader, I'm not sitting here looking to swing or invest. I'm just trying to go where the volatility is at. Right now, the volatility is down in the Bitcoin market, uh, the Bitcoin stocks. So that's my kind of personal take on it. But what do you guys think? Is today or you know early this week when Bitcoin is down in the thir like the low $30,000 per coin range, is this a good dip buy or do you guys want to see it lower? And where do you guys think Bitcoin will end by t the end of 2021? I'm curious. I've got no idea. I'm going to shoot a wild guess and say over $100,000 per coin, but I could be very, very wrong. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, guys, and I will see you back here on Wednesday with your Wednesday's edition of Today Trade Treats, and realistically, only with about five of these left. Um, so yeah, get energized, get ready for a crazy week of volatility, I'll catch you then.